Hello folks, Bryony Thomas here, the author and founder of Watertight Marketing. Here for day seven of 10, celebrating 10 years in business, 10 years of an entrepreneurial learning, and 10 years of lessons and gifts and love that I can give to you. So today on um, day seven, it's, uh, it's a biggie. So um, there's a big lesson and there's a big gift. The big lesson is about backing yourself and thinking big, and the gift for today, the celebration for today, is 10 tickets to our Confidence and Clarity Conference on the 14th and 15th of September in Bristol for just £10. Now, they are on a first-come, first-served basis, and the people who are on our daily alerts email have had half an hour, um, have had half an hour uh, ahead of everyone else to get those tickets. And when I, But just before I came live, I did see that there are only eight tickets left. So if you do want to get in, involved with today's gift and come along to our Confidence and Clarity workshop on the 14th and 15th of September in Bristol, um, then get in quick for your £10 ticket. First come, first serve, today only. Roll up, roll up. <laughs> it's a crazy one, isn't it? It's a crazy one to give away. Um, and it completely goes with today's lesson. Um, today's lesson is about backing yourself. Now, what do I mean? So I am, I'm a big fan of uh, small incremental tweaks. We talk about tweak your leaks. Um, and that's often about making small, seemingly imperceptible improvements that all build up to something really big. And, um, and, I, and I absolutely do believe in that. I think it's the, the way that you get long-term change. However, they need to be in pursuit of something big. And in that something big, you need to back yourself. So um, what I mean is that in business, there are times when you need to put down big markers and you need to put yourself behind it so wholeheartedly um, that there's nothing else you can do than either go brilliantly or learn something huge. And there are ways that I've done this in my life um, uh, ongoing, in my, in my life beyond um, Watertight Marketing, and there are ways I've done it within Watertight Marketing. At the moment, the backing myself um, is, has very definitely been putting on this conference in September. So our two-day conference is a, the first time we've ever done a two-day conference. Um, and you know, there's something very motivating about putting down a, a 10-figure um, commitment, a contract uh, to, to pay for a 10 figure uh, a five figure sum um without having yet sold any tickets you know and um when when i put that down and it was um, incredible that by making that commitment by backing myself in that way by believing in myself in that way um that we were we were able to have sold um half the tickets before we even went public um with the with the ticket sales to our community and that's there's i've done this so many times in in my life and in my career so um, for example when I when I did my MBA um, I left I left a job I'd just been offered a promotion and instead of taking the promotion I resigned and went off and did my MBA um, and when I left my big corporate job to um, to set up Clear Thought Consulting, my, the, the name of the business when I set up, I didn't have anything to go to. I didn't have any backup plan. I had belief in me. Um, and so there have been times where I have um, a thought big um, you know so I've literally gone right I'm gonna do that I often talk about myself as being quite binary and um, then if I'm in I'm in um, so I and I've done that uh, when I when I left my uh, jumped to go and do my full-time MBA jumped to come and do um, this business when I did the book, I had um, I had an offer from a from a traditional publisher, uh, and it would have been quite easy to have taken that contract. But I decided, no, I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to back myself. I'm going to do the book I really want to do. I'm not going to make any compromises. And um, you know, I I spent twenty thousand pounds getting that book how I wanted it. I spent extra money on the illustrations, on the cartoons, on the cover design, on um, on the print with the, the spot uh, lamination, on um, on the indexing, on the editorial. So because I wanted it to be brilliant, I wanted and I backed myself. Um, and you know I've done that time and time again. And at the moment, that's very much um, what this conference is about. So when we started planning it, which was in February, um, we, you know, we thought, well, we you know, we could do a little event, or we could just 
go large, um, which is what we've done. And I, um, I do these things in order to make a public commitment to give myself a burning platform on which I have to achieve um, and to motivate myself to step things forward. So when I think about what the next step is for the business, I plan something in and I make a commitment, often a contractual commitment or a um, financial commitment that means I have to do it. I have to do it. Um, and at the moment, that's this conference. Um, hi to the people joining me. Hi, Mark. Hi, Lou. Um, do comment um, in the comments if you're live with me on Facebook. Otherwise, I don't know who you are. Um, if you're watching this back on uh, any of the other platforms, do comment. I will check back. So to remind you, um, today's gift is to, um, is to come along to that Clarity and uh, Confidence and Clarity Conference in Bristol on the 14th and 15th of September for just £10. And it's been such a biggie for us to organise. We've got um, we've got four rooms booked for the different things we've got going on. We've got 12 speakers and we've been investing in, um, in software that we're going to be releasing at the session. So again, this is another example of me backing myself. I have put the money down to develop that software because I know, I know, it's um, what, you know, having researched it amongst um, our, our users, I know this is what people need. And yes, I could, um, you know, I could wait and do it organically, um, or I could put the money down and make myself do it. Um, and this kind of goes to, often, often this goes to testing things. So sometimes um, people get mixed up with our advice around the kind of do small things with, um, kind of uh, do it do it small and that's not what I mean so you're heading towards something big but you're doing something small every day to get there um, rather than often what I see is people test small so they will um, they'll do an event but they'll do it on the cheap and it's like well if you're going to do an event do it do, do it properly because otherwise what you're testing is almost um, a self-fulfilling prophecy so we, we have a cat no, let me give you an example we have a cat um, his name is Dylan and if you show fear around Dylan he will bite your ankles and if you don't he will be a very soppy lovely cat um, and I think if you go into business fearfully people will bite your ankles um, <laughs> and if you go into business with with um, with bravery with commitment in backing yourself, then people will um, will will back you in that. Whereas if you're tentative, if you're nervous, if you do things um, in a small and a shy way, then that's what people see. So I would say that there should be some milestone things in your business that you go into wholeheartedly. If you're going to do a book, do a brilliant book. If you're going to do an event, do a brilliant event. If you're going to put together a website, you know, really go go for it on some of the functionality pieces. You know, you can you can fill in on content later, but build um, for what your business will become. Um, one of our one of our master plan uh, graduates and one of our speakers at the conference is a lady called. Karen Meager. Um, and Karen went through our master plan program. She'll be speaking at the conference and telling you all about it. And she doubled their turnover and profit. She'd been in, uh, an entrepreneur for nearly 10 years. She had the best investment that her business has ever made. And they um, are, have co-authored a book called Time Mastery. And there's a, there's a thing in there, a concept about big time thinkers and small time thinkers. I'm a big time thinker, which means I look kind of 10 years ahead, which can sometimes mean that I fall over my feet. And so when I say think big and back yourself, um, it's important to have some people People in your business who, who look down to the ground and, and create the small steps um, and that's about getting a team around you but you will never I don't believe I don't think you will ever get people to follow you um, if you don't really back yourself and I of course I struggle with confidence at times like anybody of course as a business owner I've been on the roller coaster and there have been days where I've thought I'm, I'm crazy to be doing this um, but I have put down big markers that have meant that I have to back myself. But the, the big one was setting up in business in the first place, leaving a six figure job when my husband wasn't working with the, with the mortgage um, that was equivalent, you know, commensurate with the job that I had at the time. Um, doing the book and turning down that big publishing contract and, and spending extra money to get the book that I wanted. Um, uh, 
getting the licensing out there um, and create, spending money on all the legals for the licensing so I could do something scalable. You know, I've backed myself time and time again, and I'm not from money. You know, I, I was brought up by um, a single parent father builder. And so all of the, the money that I've put into the business behind me has come from me. Um, and I had a, a small inheritance when, when my dad died and every single penny of that has gone into this business. So I'm not saying this because I've got piles of money hanging around. I haven't. I never have had. Um, but what I have had is absolute belief in a few key things that I've put money behind and I've put passion behind. And I've put myself publicly out there saying I am going to do this. And I fully encourage you to do the same. So if you want to come to the thing that I'm backing myself on this year, the conference, the Confidence and Clarity Workshop um, with us on the 14th and 15th of September in Bristol, you can get that ticket for £10 today um, on the link that we've shared in the comments. I look forward to hearing how you've backed yourself and how you've been thinking big too. Lots of love from me. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.